Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Heidi. If you're new here, I have two kids. I have a 12 year old son named Brody and I have a six year old daughter named Alyssa. And today I'm showing you what's inside their Easter basket. So hopefully this will give you some inspiration. That's not just candy. It's some things that they would want and some things that they would also need. So let's go ahead and jump into Brody's first. So Brody loves basketball and I got him a few basketball related things. The first thing that I got him, he uses a water bottle at school. He actually has one from last Easter that he's currently using. I will link that video in the description in case you're interested in seeing what I got them last year. But I got him another water bottle, but this one is a squeeze bottle and it's actually insulated so it'll keep his um, water cold and there's no breaking this one. Um, he can also use this for when we travel. It's perfect for when we go on vacation. So if you saw my Dollar Tree haul, I got the kids a few things from the Dollar Tree and one of them were a egg that you put something into. This is the egg. I got him a basketball one. I'm not gonna even attempt to try to open this thing. If you saw my video, you know I had the hardest time putting this together. So what I plan on doing is I got him a $10 PlayStation gift card. I'm gonna tape that to the back you can't see it but this will be what goes in his egg every year I buy swimsuits to put into the kids Easter baskets it's something that they'll use during the summertime for Brody I grabbed these and I thought they were really trendy and cute for boys it's by art class and I ordered it online at Target when they had a sale going on and then the inside it doesn't have your typical mesh like throughout the whole entire swim trunk or swim shorts, whatever you want to call them. And it also has the little adjustable waist in case you need it to adjust that. But I thought just plain color would work for him. It has pockets on the back and this is like a polyester feel. And it is, it has like the sun protection, UPF 50. Brody really needed a new PlayStation charger. He currently has one that's like this tiny with the wire. So I wanted to get him a new one. That way he can have a little more stretch. And I ordered this online at Target. It's just a PlayStation charger wire and this is six and a half feet. So he should be really happy to get a new one of these. Our family is a huge fan of the New Orleans Pelicans. So I wanted to put in some kind of Pelican related item for Brody. He loves basketball and these socks would be perfect for that. Just a two pack and he goes through socks like crazy so i think this will be a good fit especially with his jerseys a candy item that i thought was really cool that i hope he loves because he loves these type of candies and i thought it would be perfect for basketball are these trolleys they are sneakers so like little basketball shoes i was like oh my goodness i gotta get these for him and it's all the little flavors that he likes. So I got this at Walmart. Brody's favorite candy is by far Cadbury eggs. He takes after my husband Russell on this one. So I got him some Cadbury eggs, a little pack. It's really hard to find the cream ones that they really like. So um, these are the mini ones. At the Dollar Tree, I grabbed Brody some sunglasses for vacation. I need to kind of see a glare, but you can't beat that for $1.25. I was originally gonna get some for Alyssa, but she currently just started wearing glasses, so she can't really have any sunglasses, so she needs to have her glasses on at all times. So that was out the window for her, but I grabbed those for Brody for when we go on vacation. So Brody loves the Old Spice products, so I wanted to get him some body spray. It's something that he'll need, and I think this will probably smell really good. Yeah, it smells tropical, beachy, but manly at the same time. The scent is really nice. Now I'm going to get into the favorites, like favorite snacks that Brody loves. He is currently enjoying any type of icebreaker, so I wanted to get him some more. For those that have seen my Walmart Ibotta hauls, know that I grabbed some Mountain Dew to put in his Easter basket. It's just something that he really likes to drink, and I thought this would be nice to add into there. He loves sour candies, so one of the sour candies is this Sour Punch Twist. I don't typically like to buy too many of like the little cute Easter things, but these were only $1 um, at Walmart. Some more dollar items at Walmart. I got both of the kids, some Sour Patch Kids. 
They absolutely love Sour Patch Kids. And I don't know about your kids, but my kids never seem to eat the actual Easter Bunny. It always ends up getting wasted. Um, I don't know if it's because it's too much chocolate, it's too hard to eat. I don't know what the case is. But this year, I decided to just get the little Dollar Bunny and it's hollow. So they should be able to eat this. And I went ahead and got Alyssa one just the same. She is actually able to eat M&Ms now. So I'm hoping she'll be able to enjoy the bunny as well. For those that don't know me, she is dairy free, but she has been progressing where she can, she's able to eat some more um, items that contain dairy. Some more Walmart dollar items that I grabbed were this Hubba Bubba gum, push pop topper, I thought this was like boyish with the little shade that kind of matches the shades that I got him. Sweet Tart Chewies. I got this one I bought. For this next item, I feel like you either love them or you hate them. There's no in between. And my kids love these. They are peeps. And I wanted to get this kind. Brody actually picked out a pack of these when we went to Walmart. And he originally said he liked them, but then he said he doesn't like them. He likes the original ones, so... I grabbed one each for both kids, so probably give this to Alyssa and buy just the regular yellow peeps for Brody. Brody loves goldfish, and I actually put this in his Valentine's Day bucket, and I got him again. This is his absolute favorite goldfish, so just the flavor plastic goldfish. I got both kids a pack of their own Oreos, and y'all know I got this from Ibotta. The next two things are from Target online and they were 98 cents, I think, or 99 cents. They were under $1. So Brody enjoys like the little cotton tails or what do they call these? Cheese balls. But I got him the white cheddar and then I also got him the regular cheddar cheese. So he enjoys both of these and I thought this would be um, a good little snack for him. And the last thing for Brody's basket, I purchased this at the Dollar Tree. My kids both love cotton candy, so I grabbed one for each of them. Now let's get into Alyssa's basket. Before I do that, I want to mention they don't have the same amount of things, but the pricing is the same. It's kind of hard when your kids are such a different age difference. Um, of course, Brody things cost more, but Alyssa, she can get more things for the same amount of money. So let's go ahead and jump into hers now. Alyssa has been wanting to get her ears pierced, but since she just got her glasses, we want to get her adjusted to that first before we go ahead and get her ears pierced. But in the meantime, I ordered some stuff from Claire's online. Really cheap things, you guys. They have the cutest little clip-on earrings. I got the little dinosaur ones and just some plain heart ones. And these were $1.50 each. And then they have the little backing on there. So we're going to try these out and see how she likes these. A girl can never have too many hair accessories, so I grabbed these for Alyssa, and they have cute little animals on them. I also got her a scrunchie, and it has the letter A for Alyssa. I thought this would be perfect for when we are on vacation. Of course, I'll take the little padlock off, um, but it has a pen already and a little notepad, and she loves to draw, and this is the perfect size to go ahead and put into her backpack for when we travel. So this next item reminds me of when I was a kid. I had these growing up and Alyssa has been wanting one for the longest time. And I didn't even think to get this from Claire's, but if you guys know what this is, a little slap bracelet, she has been wanting one and she loves the pastel colors. So I thought this would be really cute for her. She can wear it at school or wherever she wants. But this, I know she'll really like this. And moving along into some more pastels, they have the cutest little slippers, little rainbow pastels, and this is so cozy inside. I know she'll enjoy these. The last thing that I got from Claire's is the slime, and she knows I love coffee, so I thought this would be cute to get her her own little coffee slime. I'm not sure if it smells or anything. Let's see. It doesn't say if it has a scent, but really cute to add in there. For some Dollar Tree items, I got Alyssa a Easter egg that we're gonna put something inside. I think I'm gonna go ahead and put the jewelry inside of her egg. I also picked up this bracelet from the Dollar Tree. And if you guys know the little backstory about the flamingo, they call her a little flamingo at school. 
a cute little book, an Easter book to go ahead and add into her basket from the Dollar Tree. For Alyssa's swimsuit, she is absolutely obsessed with Lilo and Stitch. I typically get her swimsuits from Ruffle Butts. I really like theirs, but this time I decided to go ahead and get it at Target when I was ordering Brody's. And it is a one piece. And I know she's gonna go crazy over it. It also has the protection, the sun protection on there. Has the cute little details on the side. And it's kind of like a tie dye effect. I know she'll really enjoy this. Alyssa is really into gardening lately. So we are currently trying to grow our own watermelon and she is super excited to see the results of it growing. So I thought whenever that happened, I ended up grabbing this before we started planting it, but um, these are just little containers to start potting your own garden. And she has some like seeds and whatnot from the Dollar Tree that we purchased and we already have the soil. So I thought this would be a cute little project that she could work on. And of course, to water your flowers and the things that you're growing, you're going to need a watering can. So at Walmart, they had the cutest little ones for Easter and these are only 98 cents. And I know she'll like feel extra special. Alyssa also loves bubbles. So I grabbed this at Walmart. This was 98 cents and they had a variety of colors. They also had some Easter ones, but they were a bit more expensive. So I thought just go ahead and get the color or colors that she might like. And she loves every color of the rainbow. So this was an easy choice. At the front checkout at Walmart, they had these candies that were a dollar. And I don't think I've ever seen these. They are the Fruit Loop gummies and she loves any kind of gummy candy. I'm not sure if these are sour, but it does have like the little sugar on there. Target online, they had some Pringles and she loves any type of plain chips. So I wanted to go ahead and get her some chips and snacks as well. And she's never tried these before. I'm hoping she likes them. These are just like the little animal crackers, but she loves unicorns, rainbows, and they have little unicorns looking and like mermaids on there. Some mythical creatures it says. But I thought maybe she would really enjoy these. At the same other candies that I showed that Brody got. The only difference with the one is that hers are airheads instead of the sour twist. But I got one of each of those. And then of course her hubba bubba is pink instead of blue. And for her push pop I got the little girly one. Um, and her flavor is watermelon. So I'm gonna put these baskets together and show you guys how they turn out. For the baskets, they are six years old and they've held up really well. I just reuse them every single year. I did purchase them from Michaels. This ribbon was from the Dollar Tree and I had a name tag for Brody's. It's actually, fun fact, it's buried underneath all that stuff. I already had some grass that was in there from last year and the little name tag was stuck in there and I totally forgot about it. So I'm going to take Alyssa's off. They can clearly see the pink is for her and the blue one is for Brody. But this is how the baskets turned out and the cellophane, I purchased that at the Dollar Tree. It came in a pack of two. I hope you all enjoyed it and got some ideas and inspiration. If you have any questions, let me know. As always, I hope you'll have a great day. Until next time, bye guys.